welcome to the html course greetings to you all i am jyoti mandala your guide helping you in understanding essential elements that define the backbone of every web page in this tutorial you will be understanding in detail about html list list are essential for structuring the content on web page whether you are creating a simple to do list or a complex menu understanding html list is crucial in this video we'll cover different types of list in html and how to use them effectively lists are of three types an order list order list description list these tags come in pairs consisting of an opening tag and a closing tag let's start with an ordered list these list are perfect for items that don't have a specific order to create an unordered list use the representation ul opening and closing tag and each item in the list is defined by li opening and closing tag you can add as many item lists as needed within the ul elements let's see how it works open the editor have the basic structure of your html document which is your doc type html tag head tag and the body tag in the title tag i have added html list now in the body tag let us create an unordered list of items i want to display the list of engineering courses offered in the university begin with the ul tag and end with slash ul tag each engineering course is a item list so embide each course name in li and slash li as an example i am considering three list of items csc ece and triple save the file with the doc html extension open the file in the browser and you can see the list of courses are displayed in the uh, as mentioned in the file in the browser if you want you can change the shape of this bullet by specifying the type attribute the type attribute have four values circle disk square and none let us see all these with an example copy the same example four times with the values for the first one having the value type equal to circle second one with the type equal to disk third one with the type equal to square
and fourth one none. You need to close for all the tags. Okay, now let's save this program. and check refresh our page you can see you can observe the output different sets of list values displayed with the type of bullet that has been mentioned observe here disk is a filled disk is a filled value this one circle is a circle without filling square is a filled value with square and none is without any bullet observe here disk is the default bullet hope you all are understanding next up is ordered list unlike unordered list ordered list have a specific order to create an unordered list, have, is, have the list OL opening and OL closing tab. Each item in the list is defined by the LI opening and closing tags. Ordered lists are great for steps in a process or any sequence of items. Let's see an example. For the same list of courses offered by the university, I will embed them in OL list. Save the file. Refresh your page. And you can see the list of items displayed with the numbering list. See, by default, the list is numbered. You can change the type of the list by using the type attribute. Type attribute can be set to I indicating small Roman list, capital I indicating capital Roman list, a indicating lowercase alphabet list, capital A indicating uppercase alphabet list and 1 indicating numbering list. This is the default one. Let's see all these with examples. Let's copy the same code and mention different type values. First type I will be mentioning as I. Capital I. A. Capital A. And type 1. Save the file. And refresh your page. You can see the list of values with the type of the order specified in the list. The first one is 
default which is numbering second one is small roman number list third one is capital roman number list lower alphabet k numbers upper alphabet numbers and numeric list numbering list hope you all got a clear idea on how to use this type attribute another attribute which helps you in controlling the list of attributes list of numbering to which with which number you want to start by default the list starts with 1 but if you want to start the list from a specific number you can do that by mentioning the start attribute in the ol tag let's see an example you can see by default the list is starting with 1 now i want to change the starting number to 5 to do that simply specify starts in ol tag five save this file refresh it is start refresh you can see the list is starting from the number 5. Do practice these examples for better understanding. HTML also allows us to create nested list where lists are contained within other list. This can be achieved by simply placing a list inside another list item. Nested lists are helpful for displaying hierarchical information such as subcategories or nested menus. Let's see a small example. Check here, I want to create two lists, one with engineering circuit branches other one engineering with non-circuit branches. See, see heading is under OL list and each OL list is having its own UL list. This way of nesting is referred as nested list. Remember to use them appropriately to make the list of items visually attractive. Another type of list is description list. This type of list is made up of pair of terms and descriptions. To create a description list, use DL tag with DT for terms and DD for descriptions. Description lists are commonly used for glossaries or definitions. Let's see an example. I want to create a definition with the computer as the heading and its definition as the data. So to achieve this, use DL tag opening and closing tag. In the DL tag, we need to have two set of tags dt opening 
and closing tags. DD opening and closing tags. In the DT tag, you have to mention the heading of the definition, which is computer. And in the DD tag, you need to give the definition of the computer. Save this file. Refresh your page. By doing this, you can achieve the required output. Observe the output here. The computer is the heading and the definition of the text is displayed here. Description lists are commonly used for glossaries or definitions. HTML lists are fundamental elements for organizing the content on web page. Hope you all have understood how to use HTML list. Experiment with different types of lists and explore. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, happy coding and remember the web is your canvas. Thank you.